Start with setting up the integration in ongoing VMS. For this you will need the API keys from PowerOffice Go. Enter an email for reporting errors and your API keys. Select what statuses the invoices in PowerOffice Go should have to be fetched by the integration. In this example, we only want to sync paid orders. If you want to synchronize stock values, you should check this checkbox. But please note, if you activate the stock sync before you have the right values in ongoing VMS, the stock values you have in PowerOffice Go might be overwritten with incorrect stock values. So before the first synchronization has run, we have a list of products in PowerOffice Go, but no articles in ongoing VMS. After the first synchronization, all products in PowerOffice Go can be found in the article register in ongoing VMS. If you want to sync stock levels, you have to mark the products in PowerOffice Go as inventory item. This will allow updates on the stock values. After the next synchronization, the stock values in the going has been pushed to PowerOffice Go. Since we have not yet received any goods in ongoing, the stock value is zero. Let's receive some items to see how the new value will appear in PowerOffice Go. Now let's look at order synchronization. We will start by creating an invoice in PowerOffice Go. Since I have selected that only paid invoices will be synchronized, I have to receive a payment on this invoice. After the next synchronization, you find the invoice in PowerOffice Go as an order in ongoing VMS. If I pick the order, the stock value will decrease in ongoing. But before the next synchronization, you cannot see this in PowerOffice Go. After the next run, the stock values has been adjusted.